could be effective against this particular virus. But developing a vaccine is painfully slow, says the World Health Organization. The first few doses not available for at least another four to six months. In the meantime, more and more countries are stockpiling their antiviral drugs until that vaccine is made available. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto. Springtime here in Summerside. While most people wait optimistically for the first sign of a blue jay or a robin redbreast, the only birds we see here are crows and seagulls, the so-called scavenger birds, circling as though they're waiting for the whole town to die. In each town we've visited, we notice that each town has a specific feel, a specific vibe. In Summerside, it feels as though there's a mortuary convention going on every day. It has a strange value system that encourages women to have two children by the time they're finished high school. The whole town feels as though it's gripped in some kind of conservative baptism, although decidedly they are neither. Suspicion looms large in this small town and it is nearly impossible to have a simple cup of coffee out with family members let alone being invited into their homes for a special holiday meal, the thinking is, in these hard economic times, a dollar saved is a dollar saved. Also, no one is really sure who the terrorists might be. They might be in your family. Summerside is the only town we've ever visited where the Suicide Distress Prevention Hotline actually discusses the pros and cons of your life before deciding on further action. Our map of Summerside showed no discernible points of interest. The only thing it showed us was five Baptist churches and 25 Tim Hortons. Usually, at the bottom of a map, you find a legend or a key explaining key points of interest. In Summerside, key points of interest simply do not exist. Whether it's the food they eat or their environmental conditions, people in Summerside seem to age badly. It is often hard to tell whether you're speaking to a man or a woman, and the fact that some women wear men's aftershave make it even more puzzling. Under the strange value system we have here in Summerside, anyone wearing eyeglasses is considered to have a college degree. Anyone with a college degree is considered genius, and anyone who is a genius is considered an astronaut. The whole town acts as though they're being watched, watching each other to see if their actions judge against their own value system. Many people believe that we're on the cusp of something new in Summerside, but no one can tell you exactly what it is. Many people who have left Summerside talked endlessly when they were children about where they were going to live when they grew up. In fact, many of the people who leave Summerside don't even care where the bus goes. While the teens in other parts of Canada are at home busy trying to figure out how to download songs onto their iPod, the closest thing we have to technology here in Summerside is 8-track uh, cassette tapes. Hi, how you doing this evening, sir? Not bad. Uh, what's your name? Todd uh, How old are you? 17. Uh, what grade are you in? 35. Uh, and what are you doing in your uh, car right now? I'm just trying to save some gas in here and my friends. And uh, what are you listening to right now? Only the best on 8-track. And uh, what do you plan to do after school? Probably get the girlfriend pregnant and take it from there. Mm -hmm. And have you thought of any long-term employment maybe in Summerside here? Probably work at the 8-track factory. Go North Stars. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds great. The people college. of the town have strange health concerns. They have strange terminology to describe some of the conditions they do have. Someone who is ugly somewhere else may be called aesthetically challenged. Someone here who has neurological impairments may be called NDP. In Summerside, where some kids rock around the clock, we were hopping, bopping to the Crocodile Rock. It seems as though the people in Summerside don't aspire to be anything. People are often mocked or laughed at when they tell friends and family they're thinking of attending university. After all, in Summerside, any job is good enough because in the end you will be getting unemployment that gets you through the winter. Oftentimes hookers are hard to find in the winter time because they don't want to accept money because it might interfere with their claim. 
Well, when you come up Granville Street, and, and that's one of like the first thing you see uh, emerging on the new development, it's not very attractive. It needs to be, uh, it needs attention. The biggest event here in Summerside is the annual Lobster Carnival. A washed up, worn out bunch of ex-circus performers here for two weeks every summer. At the end of the two weeks, many of them stay to retire here because they feel comfortable here with the rest of the freaks. Some people say that Summerside is a town steeped in history because they're still there. They haven't left. Billy Pelican, CBC News, Summerside. And we'll take a short break now and come back with the detailed weekend forecast. And a little later, we'll sit down with a PEI soccer coach who's back on track for the Canada Summer Games. First, the day's closing numbers and a positive end to the week. Mm -hmm. 